In this video, we will learn how to test transistors using digital multimeter. We will learn emitter based testing. That means we will connect only emitter and base with digital multimeter. We will select diode mode because this transistor testing is exactly similar to testing of diode using digital multimeter. We will take two readings for each transistor, forward bias and reverse bias. If you are getting some turn on voltage in forward bias and in reverse bias, if you are getting OL, that means this transistor is in good working condition. Secondly, in forward bias, if your reading is around 0.7 volt, that means semiconductor material used to make this transistor is silicon. But if your value is around 0.3, that means your transistor is made up of germanium. Now in this video, we will learn how to test transistor using digital multimeter, right? First thing we know that to test transistor using digital, we are going to measure voltage. But here we have to select this mode, diode mode, or we can call it deposition. So first we will adjust this knob on deposition, right? So here, deposition is selected. Now, I'll take two wires and I will connect this with our digital multimeter. Where to connect? Always one wire is connected with this com common black. This black is negative. Okay, so this is our negative terminal, black wire. And positive is connected with V because we are going to measure what? Voltage. So we will connect this with V here. Okay. Now in transistor, we know that we have three leads, three wires here. Okay. So where to connect these two wires? Here in transistor, we have emitter, base and collector. But we are connecting only base and emitter. This type of testing is called base emitter testing. You can see here it is written here also. Base emitter testing. That means we have to connect only base and emitter. Which one is emitter? Which one is base? So here you have to look for the small tag you can see here. So this side is or this lead is our emitter E. Okay, and middle one is base and this one is collector. We are not going to connect collector. We are going to connect what? Only A meter and base. First I will connect positive of this. Okay, which one is positive here? This V, this red terminal is positive. So I am going to connect this with A meter. And black wire means negative. I am connecting with base okay so this one is my first connection i have connected positive with emitter and negative with base okay we will take two readings for one transistor for second reading we will interchange this connection i will connect this negative with emitter and positive with base so now we will check the reading in this what is the reading now okay here in digital, you have to be careful. These two wires should not touch each other. Right? This black and red. So, now I will check the reading. What is the reading here? 0 0.671. What is the unit of this reading? This is in voltage. This is volt. So, I will write this reading here in forward bias. My reading is 0 0.671. But don't forget to write the unit. Okay, this is forward bias reading. Now, we will interchange this wires now. I am interchanging. So, what I will do? I will connect this with A meter 
black wire now and red with base now it is connected now check this reading this reading is ol this is reverse bias reading right this is reverse bias reading so i will write this reading here ol if in your transistor in forward bias you are getting value means voltage this voltage is nothing but turn on voltage around 0.6 or 0.7 or you may get around 0.3 it may be between 0.2 and 0.3 and in reverse bias if you are getting ol that means your transistor is in good working condition right second thing we can write the type of this from this reading from reverse bias or from forward bias you can write if you want to write from forward bias again i will change the connection to write the type look at this in forward bias okay we have connected red with e this is forward bias reading in forward bias we know that what is forward bias i will write here forward bias means positive is connected with p of transistor p p type positive is connected with p which one is positive now this red is positive this red is connected with emitter so a meter is positive that means base is negative means n so a meter is p base is n so collector is also p so this type is this type is we will write here or we can write in this this type is p and p okay also you can write the code of this transistor code on this transistor on this side the code is written right this code is here bf088 so you have to read this code and you have to write this code here and type you can check check type in forward bias or reverse bias it will be same now you have to repeat this procedure for another transistor also for another transistor also we will connect a meter and base and we can check and we can write this readings in forward bias and reverse bias again first you have to check where is a meter this one is a meter okay so you have to connect one positive with a meter first and i am connecting negative with the base okay again you have to take the reading here you are getting ol that means this reading is reverse bias this reading is reverse bias so i will write here this is ol then interchange the connection i am interchanging this okay in this i am getting 0.653 so this reading is forward bias but don't forget to write the unit now from this we can write the type what is the type of this this is in forward bias again forward bias means positive is connected with p okay i have written here i'll show you positive is connected with p so check positive red is positive positive is connected with p here positive is connected with base so base is p that means a meter and collector are n n type so this type is npn and also you can write the code of this transistor here okay so this is transistor testing using digital multimeter but this testing is called base emitter testing why because we are connecting only base and emitter okay